What the hell? That's sad. So what happened? How did it all end? The yeah. Mad King's own son united Karja rebels with Asaram freebooters. And together we did the impossible, took back Meridian and killed the crazy old king. So now the sun sits on the throne and it's a big improvement. Under Avad, there's no more sacrifices, no more slavery. People from all tribes are welcome in Meridian now, even Nora exiles. You really should come visit. Sounds like a invitation. I'll take. Who are the Asaram? Oh, that's my tribe, far to the northwest. We're good at three things. Arguing, working steel, and brewing. And freebooters. What are those? I guess you could say we were mercenaries. You know, warriors for pay. Except a lot more loyal than that makes us sound. Avad couldn't have taken down his father without our metal and muscle. And now, some of us serve proudly as his personal vanguard. Your sister was taken captive and sacrificed. That's terrible. <laughs> captive, yes. Sacrificed, no. Oh, thank goodness. It takes goodness. more than a few Karja to finish Ursa. She got away, and now she's my captain. Captain of the entire vanguard, favored by the Sun King himself. Now that and is a promotion I like well, to that's hear. A story, all right, but it takes a while to tell. Maybe another time over a drink or three? Or just come to Meridian and meet her yourself. I think you'd like each other. You're both rather uh, direct. Okay, we'll do. You said the machines have been getting more dangerous every year. Yeah, I don't have to tell you that, right? First I've heard of it. Oh, sorry. I just assumed everyone knew. No, I was the an outcast. I hear it, 15, 20 years ago, the machines weren't always pissed off like they are now. When a hunter came at them, they'd spook and run. So it was hard to take them down, but not dangerous. So long as he was smart enough to jump out of the way. But then the derangement starts up and everything changes. Now, when a hunter fires a shot, the machines snarl and charge right at him. A few more years pass and they start attacking people on sight. Going anywhere becomes a major risk. If that wasn't bad enough, entirely new kinds of machines start showing up. Bigger, meaner. And heavily armed. Like the sawtooth. Yeah, ten years ago, that one. But every couple of years or so, something worse comes along. Believe me. So what's making it happen? And no one knows. And the machines, well, they aren't telling. Wow, that's crazy. And you know what? I feel like that's a, fo a foreshadowing of some kind, too. Just how big is Meridian? What's it like? Where do I even start? My tribesmen are masters of the forge, the best tinkers in the world. But when it comes to building, the Karja have us beat. The city soars over a canyon with more bridges than the Nora have roads and buildings tall as mountains. And across the valley stands the spire, like a blade thrust into the sky reflecting the sun. You really owe it yourself to see it. So consider that a challenge. Or an invitation. All right, it was nice talking to you. Goodbye. I want to ask you about something you said before. Oh, never mind. Ask away. Um. Tell me about Olin again. When he's not what? scrounging, I've known him for a few years. Anyways, so I'm heading out. I should make my way to the blessing. Yeah. Look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but. <laughs> But it's obvious that you don't belong in this backwater. I mean, you're smart. You're obviously capable. And, well, I mean, look at you. What? Uh, what are you talking about? You know what? No, uh, I if don't. If you ever visit Meridian, look me up. I'll show you around, make introductions. It'll be a whole new life if you want it. Anyway, I have to go to that blessing thing, too. So, uh, see you around. Maybe. We'll start the blessing when all aspirants are in place. Okay, so that is my cue to be here. Right? In the front. Aloy.
take your place right there. The prayer lantern is yours. I made it for you. Thank you. I appreciate that. You're so sweet. Blasphemy, sister. Shut up. Leave your negativity out the window. Before each of you sits a prayer lantern. What are you looking at? By your mother. In her Ew, honor, these stink faces. For what? Flame. You don't even know me like that. This is Lover of Ladies here. Like my video, share my video, comment because I just love talking to you guys. But most importantly, subscribe to my channel, please. That way you'll be able to see daily content from me. And I'm going to dedicate this lantern to Rost. In honor of Rost. And all he did to help me get here. Exactly. He's like a father to me, and oh, I would never forget him. Hear our prayer. What is the child but a mother's hope that takes flight? A glowing flame that climbs the air, set free to the wind, sailing the sky till it fades. This is so amazing and beautiful. So I love this this ceremony right here. The chain of love. Magical. Pure magical at this point. Arizona. I have some questions for him. Yeah, I had to talk to this guy because for some reason he avoided me in the beginning. Excuse me, excuse me, sorry. Your blessing was most illuminating. I've never seen its like. A rare gift indeed. Thank you. But you don't believe in all mother, do you? Usually the the distance between our tribes shrouds Nora ways from Karja eyes. But here among you, I see a beauty that shines true. Perhaps Naman is right after all, that the sun's light brightens all lands and all peoples. Who's Naman? One of my brethren, who believes the sky is wide enough for the faiths of all tribes. Wow, that's so cool. Who are you, Sun Priest? Yeah, who are I'm you? The Reverend to read. The glory of the Karja is the sun's glory, reflected. We sun priests are but glimmers of its great light. You just said a lot, but you didn't tell me anything. She is so blunt, <laughs> I love it. My duty is to carry out the will of the sun by serving its emissary among us, the Sun King. I comfort those who walk by the light of day, and I travel to those in far reaches whom the light barely touches, bearing warmth. I gotta admit, though, I love your outfit. Who is the Sun King you speak for? His luminance, Avad, is the 14th king of the Radiant Line. The new guy, His okay. His light envelops the sky and everything beneath it. He is the chosen of the sun. By his divine rule, we are given sight and purpose. You speak highly of him. Do you know him well? By his nature, he is unknowable and infallible. We are his instruments, not his companions. That's pretty I sad. Have his presence, but we draw down our hoods so as not to behold his light directly. You can't even He's look at him? He has total power and no friends. That couldn't go wrong. It's depressing as hell. If your sun kings are so infallible, how do you explain the crimes of the last king? Yeah. Oh, well, the sun okay, I'm stammering. is a uh, 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 brazen crown for a vessel as small as a man. Okay. If the vessel is flawed, indeed in the burial caves, one can see the skulls of the past kings are cracked, trialed and fired in the sun's kiln. That can be too much for any man to bear, even a ruler of men. So why not make it a democracy? Oh, no, no, no. Did he just say... No, no, no. I like how he's trying to basically save the reputation, though. Has there ever been a Sun Queen? Uh, many wives and consorts, of course. Or, oh, you mean for the Sun to choose a queen? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> this has not happened. Why not? Why not? The Sun is masculine, of course, and, and so would choose its heirs thus. Um, it's a light in the sky. 
I've never seen anything dangling from it. I don't know if you've noticed, but women run things around here. Well, Avad took a woman as captain of his vanguard, the first to hold such an honor. You mean Aaron's sister, Ursa. From what he told me, she sounds formidable. Oh, formidable indeed. A woman and an outsider as well. She might make a fine Sun Queen, given a chance. A Sun Queen? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. No. No? What's wrong with having a Sun Queen? And a Sun being masculine? You know what's the funny part? In Wiccan culture, the moon is masculine and the sun is feminine. But it's pretty interesting getting all these different perspectives, you know? So you live in Meridian? I do. Where better to mark the sun's divine passage than where the sandstone glows in the light of its passing? I was raised in the Mesa's great shade, its wild bird markets and metal cellars, spices and colored silks. Sounds impressive. Oh, you should behold it. And you can if you make the journey. At his luminance's order, we have flung its gates open to all. Any Nora who leaves the sacred land becomes an exile. But hey, who knows where I'll end up. Honestly, I'm very, I'm very curious to see what's beyond this little town, so... Did you come all this way just to deliver your Sun King's speech? It is my duty, and also my honor. And also to, to save the face. light of atonement to those we overshadowed and wronged. I swallowed my fear, but it reemerged. I am glad Erend Van Guardsman made this journey. He is my shield, a good man. Yeah, because you were five seconds away from being tomatoed to death. That's why. Were why. The at war with the Nora? Under the Thirteenth Sun King, the Karja had no peace with any tribe. His luminance has sent those days to dusk. We must renew the light that binds us, though few volunteered to come here. Lenora scare you. They're good at making people feel unwelcome. It's and that is an one understatement. Soldier died for every Nora taken alive. But <laughs> I see you can be as calm as you are fierce. That's because I've been an outcast all this my has life. Been illuminating, but didn't. Uh, you have already been blessed, but may the dawn find you, the day warm you, and the dusk have light to guide your path. This is so. Oh yeah, there you go. This guy. Hello, Owen. You know my name. Yep. Ah, guess Aaron told you. Yep, he Why did. Why did you act so strange when we spoke earlier? Must be this festival. I'm really not one for crowds. Maybe I should just turn in. Stop dodging my questions. And stop trying to run away. Cool your fire. I got nothing to hide. I've never seen anyone else with a focus. Where exactly did you find it? In a ruin, north of the claim. That's our name for the Asaram homeland. Up there, the metal seams run deep. Steel giants half buried in loose soil. Forgotten caves that the old ones bored into mountain rock. Your eyes just lit up. I found my focus in a cave just like you're describing. A ruin of the old ones. If you've dealt yourself, you know as much as I do. Go to those places for answers. Not me. What are you doing here, Olin? Why come to Noraland? Aaron needed a scout for his expedition, and a second for his drinking. That's all. Someone to stop the Sun Priest getting lost. So when he's the third wheel. Over, I'm back to delving ruins, rummaging for scrap, scrounging up trinkets to sell. So you're an explorer? Just another outlander, girl. A man's got to make his shards. I just make mine in service to the king's court. That's all. Okay, you don't have to be so defensive. Whatever. When we spoke earlier, you winced. Then looked like you were in pain. Or frightened. Did your focus show you something? It didn't show me anything. I told you. It malfunctioned. Happens all the time. He's feeling very uneasy. I wonder why. Mine's never malfunctioned. And I've had it since I was a child. So yours is in better shape then. I'm sure the land here is full of relics. Seeing how you Nora are too scared to delve the ruins. Because they think ruins are cursed. But I never said I think that. If the North acknowledges a curse, I'm inclined to agree. Really? I don't understand. 
We have this device in common, but you can't wait to stop talking to me. <sighs> I already have all the friends I need, girl. I don't need the bother. I'm used to being shunned by the tribe. I thought you'd be different. It's nothing personal. It really isn't. You should... Try to enjoy yourself tonight. Big day tomorrow. Always best to make every day count. <sighs> Whatever. Anyways, let me go to the Hunter's Lounge to meet with the other contestants of this special little competition that we all have. All right, here's a little gasa. I'm ready. I'm not gonna mess chuff. What did you say? Say it to my face, chicken. You Find your bed, outcast, and dream of winning the proving. That's the closest you're gonna get. You know what? You're so salty. I'm glad my presence bothers you. Oh, this is the bed house? With you standing guard? I figured it was the latrine. You're you're very present here. Oh yes! That's my girl! Look at that. He's pissed. I'm happy. Scum. Well, well. Look who's come in from the wild. Great, now I have to deal with this. Outcast. From some twerp? I see you've still got a scar from where that rock I threw hit you. Now that's a cherished memory. That's you? You can be a real lard sometimes, boss. Cut it out. Well, I won't let the cards of faithless stop me from enjoying the festival. I'm gonna go straight right to him. Aw, you even try to dress like a real Nora. Not that it fools anyone. So this is how it's gonna be with you, is it? This is how it's gonna be with everyone, outcast. You belong in the wilds, not Mother's heart. And you definitely don't belong in the Proving. You know what? The only way you know how to feel strong is to make someone else feel weak. It's not working. <laughs> I've trained all my life. You'll see tomorrow how strong I am. Oh, I've seen plenty. You grew a man's body, kind of. Damn. But down deep, you're still a scrawny little brat. Boya! You know, I often think of the day I gave you that scar. It's a cherished memory. That's you all you can hold it. over me. If Rost hadn't shot my stone from the air, you'd be missing an eye. But I suppose you leave that part of the story out when you tell it, don't you? So you can feel I good about yourself. You that day to mark your shame. All you did that day was make me stronger. Just wait. I'll show you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, right. This is boring. Time for Boss to get some sleep. Yeah, you'll be you... the one surprised tomorrow, outcast. Not me. Oh, are you gonna shut your mouth? Because that would be a surprise. I just love how Ally defends him herself. She, she's a punk. Nice job handling Bost. That should keep him quiet till morning, anyway. I don't believe we've met. I'm Aloy. Oh, I know who you are. You the do. Competition. The others, they'll finish the proving. Most of them, but win it. That's down to Boss, you, or me. Vala. Nice to meet you, Vala. You're right. I am going to win tomorrow. Never celebrate a victory before it's earned, girl. My mother taught me that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna get some sleep. I plan to be well rested when I run you into the ground tomorrow. Okay, friendly competition. I like that. Your box right there when you want it. Okay. Thanks. You see, that's that respectable, friendly competition. I like that. Alright, let's go to sleep. So, your first day in Mother's Heart. What do you think? I don't like it here. You've never slept in a Nora Lodge before. Not very private. It's loud, and it stinks, and the people are... Idiots. Mm. All these people who kept me out. Now here I am, stuck inside with them. I think you'll find more to like in the days ahead. Get some rest. Hmm. I mean, that's how I feel too. I feel feel weird being here. So this is it. The trial begins. At least I 
have someone who is willing to still talk to me. Oh my god, that kid. His attitude stinks. Just like his crusty self. Look at this punk. I can't wait to win. Seriously. I cannot wait to win. Oh, it's him again. Oh my goodness. Now I have two idiots to deal with. Braves, ready yourselves. What will it take to get you out of here? You to shut your mouth? Looks like a grazer. Nice. Got it. Shit. What the hell? Got it. Let's go. Loot my trophy? Where? Oh. Got it. What the hell? <gasps> what a... Wow. Looks like you'll need another. What a cheater! Oh! Bet. That's cute. That is so cute. Blaze? Hold on. Sorry. Loot a second trophy. Got it. Got it! Yes! I got it, don't worry. Let's go. Okay, I got it. Yep, let's go. Come on, Alloy. Wow, that kid is such a cheater. He was mad that I actually got it first. Whatever. Knowing my luck, though, I know for a fact. Okay. Yep, I'm here. Yeah, I'm here. Don't worry. No worries. I'm catching up. What's this? Dead last, girl. Might as well walk from here. Boss will win, Urvala. But you'll be made a brave so long as you finish. Oh, now. That's an old trail. Two died on it last year. It's falling apart. That's perfect. Better dead last than dead altogether. Honestly, it's El Aloy. She don't care. Whoa, 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 whoa. My old mother, are you crazy? Nope. You're gonna kill yourself. So what? So what? Let's go. Come on. It doesn't get any easier. You're insane to go that way. Watch me. Nope. We. I got it, don't worry, come on. Stop dragging. Right here? Where are we? Hold on. Right here. There you go. I got, I got going. this. Yeah. I got this. No, I'm just determined to win, honestly. Because I am not about to lose, j lose just because of some punk trying to cheat. Alright, let's go. This is gonna be close. Let's go. Wrap. Let's go. We Come on now, hurry. Keep at it. Am I gonna be first? That would be so funny. Definitely would have that kid shut up for good. I'm like so full of anticipation right now. I'm really excited for this. Look at this. Exactly, preach it! Exactly. Not enough. Must be perfect. Don't be too hard on yourself, okay? 
other than that, you're pretty crafty. You're very quick on your feet. It's amazing. Come on, come on, you can make it. Yep. Can't let them beat me now. Let's go. Yes! I won. I won. First place, baby. First place. Says the one who shoot my trophy. Never. What? But she is a brave now. Thank you. You did it. As are Thank you. All, so long as you put your trophy on the altar. Thank but you. It is Aloy. Once outcast, and now brave. Who is first among <laughs> Whoa, what is that? Oh no! Yo! Yo, we're being attacked! Keep them pinned down till the others arrive. Who's attacking us? That's the way out. But we won't make it under fire. The kids should if they're dead. Keep them busy. I'll find an angle. Bass! Bass! Are you with us? I'm with you. Let's go. Now. This is insane. First of all, goodbye. Second of all, too many of them. Come we on. Can't win. I can shoot all of them. Move. Ooh, I'm on fire. Screw it. Okay. We should be good. We can't hold them. Anyways, hold on. I need to do more crafting of my ammo. This is insane. I'm trying to have fun, enjoy myself, and I got people attacking me. Quick, run for the slip wire. What's happening? Kill them all. No witnesses, no survivors. Oh, you. Careful, please. It's bad enough that some of the kids are dead. Yeah, I know there's more. Bye. I don't even know why. Bye. Bye. Right in the head. Right in the head. You too? Watch Bye. Out, more of them. Where? You know what? Come on. Come on. Where you at? Bye. Come on. Shit. I got hit. This is horrible, man. The fact that we're all getting killed. And for what? And for what? I don't even know why this man is here. Bye. Horrible, horrendous. There's more of them? They're like cockroaches. Now, descend while we have a chance. Run, run, run! Oh no, what is that? Ah! No! no! Dude, you're gonna get- Oh, he got killed too. So this was a planned attack, huh? Oh my goodness, this is horrible, honestly. I don't... Hold on. Let's go! Come here! Come on! Let's go! Nope, sorry. You died. 
You're dead. Dead as hell. Let's go. I'll take that weapon. Thank you. What? What? Come here. Anyways, some nerve. Let's go. I can't wait. I can't. Come on. There you go. Come on. This is like a machine gun, basically. Sweet. So that's it. I'm really the only one. And they had focuses too, like that guy from earlier. Owen? Wow. He's in on it. Yo, look behind you! What the hell? Why are you doing this? Oh no, no! No! <gasps> oh, hell no. Who shot him? <gasps> Look! Frost! My dad! Get him! Get him! <gasps> oh, I thought he got stabbed for a second. I was about to cry. Come on, Ross. Get him! There you go. Come on! Come on! Ross! Come on, Ross, please! Push him off, man! <gasps> no! No! Burn it all, then to your task. As you command. Wow, so this is it, huh? This is how I'm gonna die. Being knocked out next to a barrel of dynamite. Dad's dead. All the other kids have been wiped out. This is... Oh my god. Oh, Rost! Oh, my neck! What? Damn, he just threw me off the cliff. <gasps> Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.